Have you ever heard of the overtwist stitch? It's a wonderfully textural stitch that was very popular back in the 17th century and you would see it used on a lot of medieval embroidery and it's these wonderful little twisty pieces that look like little bushes or moss. It's brand new to me and I learned it over on Mary Corbett's site but I'm going to show you how simple it is for you to do to add some texture into your pieces. So while it's traditionally done in silk threads, I didn't have a whole lot of silk thread to play with. So I've been experimenting with all kinds of threads and that's what these are. A lot of experiments. I've done it with silk thread. The only silk thread I had was the beading silk and that worked just fine. I have done it with pearl cotton. I've done it with stranded cotton. I've done it with acrylic and I've done it with wool. And let me show you how simple this is. I found it much easier to use short lengths of thread and you'll see why. This isn't the easiest stitch on your hands so I find that I do a little bit of it and then I go do something else and then I come back to it. And this is a pearl cotton, um, I believe this is a five. Now, I admire when people were doing it, they were able to hold on to the needle. That doesn't work for me. It might work for you. You can hold on to the tail because you're going to need this to tie it off. I find that I have to work it just like I would do a drizzle stitch and I take it off the needle. Now, any of your plied threads, whether it's two ply, four ply, six ply, that means it's been twisted. And what you have to do on this stitch is just start twisting the other direction. So first what you're doing is you're going to be untwisting it and you'll see the threads will start to split aside. Some of them you'll see even more so, but you'll see they'll start to split. And you're just going to keep twisting. And remember, you've got to leave yourself something that you're going to be able to tie off. And as you twist, see how it starts to kink up. Now that's a different effect if you don't want to go too far. That'll give you something different to add some texture. But for me, I wanted the, that little bushy, mossy look. So you just keep twisting and once everything has been split, then it starts to twist in the other direction. And sometimes I'll just kind of slide it down a little bit with my fingers to help it along. Sometimes if you feel like the threads are slipping through your fingers, you can have a wet cloth handy and just keep your tips of your fingers damp. And so I'm just twisting toward me and I just keep going. Now, of course, you can stop at any time. It depends on what kind of a piece you're doing if you want a different kind of effect, if you don't want the very tight spirals. But of course, the tight spirals are what make it the overtwisted stitch. And like I said, I have done this with every kind of thread I have in the house. If there's at least two plies, I have done it. One of my favorites is to take my two ply wool thread and do it six plies, make six plies out of it, and the wool makes some wonderful fuzzy kind of spirals. So see how it's getting all kinked up like that? And again, I just kind of keep pushing it down. And it's up to you. You could stop then and just sort of bring it down. But I got more thread left. I know I have enough that I can tie off. I would just be stabbing myself with the needle if I tried to do this while I still had the needle threaded. So that's going to kink up nicely. Now I'm just going to put my needle right down just like I was doing a drizzle stitch. And now you've got that wonderful curly little bush. How cool is that? And so you can also sometimes reposition them a little bit. If they didn't quite come out the way you wanted them to, you can sort of maneuver them around and you could also tack them down a little bit. But how wonderful is this stitch? I've used a lot of it here mixed in with some drizzle stitches and just to give you the idea of some bushes out in the forest. Let me know if you might be using this stitch. Try it with all the threads you have. Take one thread, 
and double it or triple it and try it that way because you'll get a completely different effect and I bet you're going to like it. If you enjoy this video, share it with a friend.